1954, Bremen-based car maker Borgwart launched its most popular model, the Isabella. Especially for his wife, founder Karl Borgwart had the sedan converted into a slick-looking coupe, which would in turn later become a convertible model. But the original one-off coupe was such a sensation that it went into volume production in 1957. Body specialist Carl Deutsch in Cologne was a popular choice when it came to converting sedans into convertibles and was selected to realize Borgvard's Isabella. While there are no exact figures, it's unlikely that more than two dozen convertibles were ever made based on the Isabella Coupe. The stretched body of the Coupe was an ideal basis for a convertible. The Isabella sedan and Coupe were Borgvard originals that did without prestigious design specialists from Italy. And their delightful details have lost none of their charm. On both the technical and design-related fronts, Borgvard was a serious contender for the car industry's big hitters. At 4 meters 39, the coupe matched the sedan in length, while measuring 13 centimeters lower. And it was the smooth contours that were the primary beneficiaries. At the same time, there was still space for an ample trunk. The Isabella also boasted a very tasteful interior. The obligatory steering column gear shift was then more of a fashion fad than a practical necessity. Push buttons, extra instruments, and a clock were fitted as standard. This was sophistication on four wheels for the new post-war middle class for whom a Mercedes was still too expensive or too swanky. The large doors ensure easy access and the seat position behind the white steering wheel is comfortable. The heating can be adjusted separately for the driver and front passenger. The Isabella Coupes had the same engine the 75 horsepower 1500 cc unit adopted from the popular TS model. Top speed was 150 kilometers an hour. It was a pretty zippy model for those days. Some convertibles look oddly proportioned with the roof up, but here too the Isabella cuts a very fine figure. Schreiber, a Borgvard specialist firm in Bavaria, made a replica of the Karl Deutsch body, accurate right down to the last detail. The form and fit of the roof are certainly a match for the original, and even better in terms of quality, although Deutsch was a low-priced supplier. Being able to build a roof like this in the first place required extensive reinforcements to the floor section. The only departure Schreiber made from Deutsch was rust protection. The originals were not built to last forever, a fate shared by many convertibles back then. The lined roof is also a comfy affair when the weather's on the unfriendly side and anything but a makeshift solution. It would be winterproof as such, although precious few drivers today would take their chances. Not the genuine article, but just like the original, the conversion of an Isabella Coupe into a Deutsch convertible. In the 1950s, wealthier drivers already had the option of having their car converted. Borgvard models were in themselves upscale cars. Today, the Borgvard brand is the stuff of legends. It might not mean anything to most people, but anyone who ever saw an elegant Isabella gliding past them on the road will always treasure the memory. See you